So the event that occurred yesterday um, is the commemoration night. is a is an event where we hosted two important accomplishments of the project. The first one is we signed a memorandum of understanding between Humana and the Ministry of Agriculture, as well as another MOU with between Humana and the Department of Youth Services. These memorandum of understanding are documents that highlight the partnership between the two um, organizations, what we are going to be doing after this cooperation until the project ends, and as well as how it will impact the sustainability of the project. The MOU with the Department of Youth Service highlights how they will take over the four community hubs that are in the Agriga, um, Independence, Big Paz, and Punta Gorda. They will take over those hubs and resume operation after our project has concluded. The MOU with the Ministry of Agriculture simply highlights the cooperation that we've had and further cements our relationship right, and our partnership into conducting more agriculture trainings within these community hubs whether it's poultry trainings, whether it's livestock trainings, assisting farmers for registration, whatever services the agriculture department provides, we will be able to provide them through these community hubs as well. But we aim to provide them through these community hubs as well. So that's the first part of the um, ceremony that occurred yesterday. The second part has more to do with CSOs and it's where we allocated, or we awarded three small grants of $22,000 each the three CSOs that are operating in Toledo and the Snack Creek District. These CSOs are the um, Citizens for Good Governance, which is located in Dagriga. We have the Southern Emergency Services, which is located in Snack Creek District. And we have the Toledo Maya Women Council, which is located in, in um, Toledo District, Big Falls. These um, entities, or these CSOs, have submitted proposals along with many other CSOs to Humana applying for these grants. And we have selected the best three, which are those CSOs, to be the ones to receive the grants. Their uh, project, the implementation of their project is expected to start within the upcoming weeks. And so we'll be seeing uh, the different projects that they're conducting, whether it's focusing on health, that is the SE at that Southern Emergency Service is doing, whether it's focusing on digital literacy or work with computers that TMWC is doing, or working with youths, mentorship, and working with CSOs that the citizens of good governance are doing, we expect to see three very good, successful, and very excellent projects being implemented within the upcoming weeks.